this is not the safest way to ship this. And to prove my point, your little terminals there are bent. Let me get this. Oh, no, don't fly away. You see, any one of those little pins breaks, and this thing is dead in the water. When I've got these in the past, they came in a little small white box. It did not do its job. Anyway, York, I mean, just come on. Come on, guys. So the main thing that happened here, uh, chiller got shut down in order to do a uh, condenser fan change out. Well, those BRAMs have a, a battery in here that saves them or saves the data. That battery had failed. It was down for like two hours to do the fan or to do a couple of fans. And in that time, when the serial code first comes back, invalid serial number, something like that. that that tells you what you need. So that right there, that is your BRAM chip right above. So that's your EEPROM below it. That's also exchangeable. So this is what that'll look like. Uh, a lot of times these will go, when they go bad, the battery will like uh, implode or it'll get a bulge out. And you can feel that here. This battery is not, it's not even. It's got a, it's got a bulge to it, which the brand new one, brand new one does not. When we get that out, I'll see if I can show you the difference. There's your invalid serial number thing and see it focus there you go you sure it just comes straight out yeah well you gotta you gotta wiggle it it's in there tight yeah it is i gotta move the ladder all right so let's get a control screwdriver what you're gonna do is on the that side yeah just very gently just enough to to get it to move sure it comes out yes just enough to get it to move. No, don't do that side. Just do the uh, the one side. Once you get the one side to break free, right, the right in the middle, then the, the rest of it should start to to do its thing. Bueno. Pin damage. Pin bending on the corners. Better than I usually do. I want to say thank you to today's video sponsor, which is CSG, Compressor Solutions Group, based out of Houston, Texas. They've also got a shop in DFW serving the Texas area, and they also can provide you compressor service nationally. They're a great group of guys. They've done a really good job with just getting their information out there. They try to really invest into training in this industry and just supporting the contractors. Reach out to Jake with any questions you have. He'll be able to take care of you, be able to help you out. They do full service and rebuilds on screw compressors and semi-hermetic resips. They've been a great friend of the channel. They've been a great friend of mine. I look forward to working with them for a long time to come. I don't know how well this is gonna capture, but if you look, the one without the white tag is the old one. And it's just ever so slightly bulged on the right side there. That is where the battery sits. Now the other side of it needs to go in a very specific way. So if you notice, one side has, has harsh corners the other side has cut corners. Got to make sure you pay attention to which is which. Now our next task is we get to fix the pins before we get to put it back in there and hopefully you don't accidentally snap one because that one got bent the heck out of it. You get it? I can take it out and do it again. Works for me. As long as you got the pins right, you didn't bend nothing. We'll know when you go to turn it on. It'll either work or it won't. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> All right. Looks like it's pushed in all the way. Everything's aligned. Uh, don't blow up. Well, it's the end of the day at this point. JCI hasn't called us back. They said they were going to. We got past several people and not here back. What I'm hoping for is I'm going to give them a few days, see if they'll call us and help us get that password so we can get that fixed if they won't then maybe uh the alternative i have is do what i've done in the past i've had them come out and just do it themselves and they can call their direct line and go through that it's just they're very expensive to bring out so just if i could avoid getting them out here i know the stuff to do while i was here anyway so i'm just gonna whatever anyway i'm gonna wrap it up here see you around guys